Okay, let's get into the map builder. So we have created a group, we've created an event, we have two tabs open. This is the event space, nothing built there yet. And this is the event uh, dashboard or your organizer dashboard. And here we are at the space menu. Now, all right, let's build something. Uh, let's create a new area and I'll just go through this quickly and then explain what I did. So this is uh, the area and um, I build a new floor. I'll say it's the welcome floor or just uh, the gathering floor, whatever it is. Um, hit save uh, and then let's create a foyer with, I just hit save with a video call in there. And I'll explain in a second what I just did, but let's just look at it. So we've created an area, a floor, a room and a table inside of the room. I'll click publish. I will go to the space here, hit on replay, refresh. I always say replay, I don't know why. And you see that this is your event space. We've uh, created this, this logo, we've uploaded it. Here's the name of the event. This is the group logo. This is the date of the event. And here you have now a foyer and you can click join. And when you click join, you will see that there's a video call connecting. And you should see me here now in just a second. There you are. There I am. And uh, you can now also see I have a second uh, plant here. And it's not because of me, it's because of my girlfriend and she's really great with stuff like that. So I'm very happy to have her and uh, makes my background better and my life in general. So there you go. We've built our first element in our event. Now you will ask probably where's the area, where's the floor? This is just the room. We have an area, we have a floor that's called gathering and we have a room called foyer. If you have only one area or one floor, it will not show because it doesn't make sense. Um, as soon as I have a second floor, let's call this stage. We hit publish. We refresh here. You will see that all of a sudden you will see the floors. Gathering, stage. And here's nothing, this is an empty floor. Let's add a new area and see what, what happens next. Area two. Um, let's just add a, a, a poster session, something like that. Hit publish. What happens here is you have two areas, area one, area two. In area two, we don't see a floor because we have only one floor created. So if I click on area two, we have the poster sessions floor, but it, it doesn't show um, because it's only one, one floor. If I had have another floor here, there you go. I hit publish. I click refresh and you will see area two now has post session, post session two. Um, I'll show you in a bit um, how this is all structured and can be used. But basically I would recommend keeping everything on the floor level, having just one area. You don't need a second area. But as soon as your event gets really big, so if you have 200 posters or something like that, there it definitely makes sense to have multiple areas. This is just a way of structuring your event. Um, so I will just delete uh, the second area. We don't need that. Um, and we will continue here. So the foyer is a bit empty now. I'll just add more video calls to it. Hit publish and I'll show you what this now looks like. Looks like this. You have foyer, you have four video calls inside of the foyer. And if I click join on one, there's the video call that's connecting again. again. And while I'm in this video call, I'm free to switch between floors. So I can switch between floors. I'll still remain here. I'm not free to switch between areas. If I switch an area, I get kicked out of the video, which is again, another reason to keep it on the floor level. All right, these were areas, floors, rooms, and tables. And now let's do a second video and dive into the elements.